Hurry, they're gonna find us. Oh, ah, that was my nose. Well, your elbow is in my gut. Oh, oh, oh. Mom, Dad, are you in there? Too late. It's important for busy parents to carve out a little quality time for themselves. <laughs> Mom, why are you beating up on Daddy again? <laughs> Did you actually achieve consciousness today? Statistics show pet owners live longer, and sarcasm is the thanks I get. Huh? Hi, honey. Welcome home. Uh, hi. Come on in. Sit down. Relax. Huh? Am I in the right house? Why? What's wrong? The house is clean. You carried my stuff in without my asking, and you're not... Wearing your bathrobe. Okay, Buster, what have you done with the real Joe? Would you like a neck rub? Oh, a neck rub would be nice. But I still want to know what's going on. Well, today I got a call from Cyber Planet magazine. They asked me to be a judge. A judge? What kind of judge? I've been asked to participate in the selection of Miss Most Downloadable 2001. You've been asked to judge a beauty pageant? Well, you could put it that way. And you told them you could never participate in a sexist activity like a beauty pageant where women are treated like cattle. Well, of course I told them. But they said it wasn't just about beauty. The contestants are judged on their intelligence, their personality, and, and talent as well. Talent! I don't think filling out a bathing suit is a talent. Do they at least pay you for this great privilege? No, I pay them. <sighs> I'm just kidding. What they do pay for is one night in a suite at the Hotel Excessivo. How nice for you. I thought you'd be excited. Me? Oh, and uh, did I forget to mention that you'll be coming with me? Mm, chocolates on the pillow, fluffy terry robes, breakfast in bed. Oh, now you're talking my language. We could have a romantic getaway weekend. Mm, just you, me, and a bevy of blonde bombshells. Wow! <gasps> Zelda, are you all right? Oh, how many times have I told you not to play soccer in the house? Including today, about a million. Zelda? I know, I know, take it outside. If you need to yell at me some more, I'll be at Lori's. Chocolates on the pillow? Sounds swell. Joe was so psyched up about this beauty contest thing, he actually cleaned the house. You're gonna let him go, right? Oh, I can suck it up for one weekend while Joe indulges in his male adolescent fantasy. Who knows? Maybe it'll turn out to be fun. Maybe the contestants will all turn out to wear pocket protectors and thick glasses and all speak in HTML. Hmm. And maybe they'll clear that frozen runway in hell so those flying pigs can land. You're right. They'll all be pert and perky and I'll look like the sagging poster mom for gravity abuse. Liz, what's really bothering you? Ah, uh, it's just that if Joe's going to look at anybody as a sex object, I want it to be me. And after 12 years of marriage, I feel like I've lost my sex appeal. Liz, come on. Okay, well, maybe not lost it. Misplaced it somewhere. Liz, I know you, and I know Joe. He wants you. Not some brainless beauty contestant, right? Right. Uh, hold on. Val, I can see your hair. Okay, Gary. So, what would you like to order? Uh, something low-cal. I have to lose 10 pounds by the weekend. Hey, no problem. And Liz? Don't sweat it. Thanks, Gary. You're a wife-saver. I mean, a life-saver. 
Oh, good, you're off the phone. Now, you know me, I would never intentionally eavesdrop, but I couldn't help overhearing your conversation. And I just want to say you'll never lose 10 pounds by the weekend, but you can distract attention from your figure flaws with a new hairstyle. But this is how my hair looks. You see, we have a deal. It does what it wants, and I do what I want. Oh, you poor thing. You have so much to learn. I insist you go see my stylist, Jean-Marc. He works miracles. I need a miracle? Oh, honey, I've seen less pathetic souls on the road to Lourdes. Here's the address. I'll call Jean-Marc and tell him you're on your way. Now? Yes. Now go. Go, go, go. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Totally wrong. This is not the air cut. This is a rescue mission, no? I guess so. Um, I feel like I need a new look. No! We will not give you a new look. We will give you a totally new you. Now, please, eyes closed. What? Eyes <gasps> closed, please. I demand total concentration. Please, to open eyes. fantasy, isn't it? This is every woman's fantasy to be a fantasy. Yes. No, no! <laughs> Nicholas, play beauty contest some more. Uh, no, Nicholas. Uh, d Daddy's finished with his practice judging for today. Mommy will be home soon. Liz, what happened to your hair? What, 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 a freak lawnmower accident? You don't like it? You mean you did that on purpose? It's my new look, and it took four hours sitting with my eyes closed so Gene Mark could concentrate, and it cost a lot of money, and it's meant to distract you from my figure flaws, so if you hate it, I don't want to hear about it. Okay, I see, I see. Try tilting your head to one side. Joe! Oh, I guess this means you won't want to be seen with me at the pageant this weekend. Oh, don't be ridiculous. As long as you stand ten feet away from me at all times, honey, I don't have a problem. Don't say another word. Hey, Mom, can I go over to... Mom, what have you done to your hair? I didn't do anything! Neither did I. Nicholas, good boy. Hello? She what? Which emergency room? Right, okay, we're on our way. Joe, what is it? What's happened? That was Lori's mom. We've got to meet them at the emergency room, honey. Zelda broke her arm. Tracy, get into the car. Joe, take Nicholas. Let's go. If people would just sleep more, there'd be a lot fewer accidents. <laughs> that SUV. Can we get one? Well, if we ever have to drive to the top of a mesa where there are no roads and we have to be lifted out by helicopter, I absolutely guarantee we'll get one. Okay, I'm off. Make sure Zelda keeps her arm elevated. Mom, I want you to take care of me. I could stay home and take care of Zelda. Me too. Nicholas, play nurse. Thanks, kids, but Zelda will be fine with Daddy. Won't she, Joe? Sure, honey. I can handle it for today. Don't worry. I'm going to phone my mother as soon as I get to work. Hello? Mom, I was just about to call you. Y you're where? I'm in Switzerland, having my blood changed. I read about this Von Rubensburg anti-aging clinic and outlive your children monthly. Why, why didn't you tell me you were going to Switzerland? I had to act fast. I'm not getting any younger, you know. Besides, these are real doctors, not like those quacks back home who insist there's nothing wrong with me. What, doctor? What? You found something, didn't you? I'm seconds from death. I knew it. I've known it for years. I'm sorry, dear. I gotta go. Kiss my darling grandchildren for me. I take it she's not available to sit this weekend. Apparently not. She's having her blood changed. Is she having her lungs rotated as well? Joe. Anyway, we'll just have to find someone else to babysit. Oh, we'll find someone, Liz. Don't worry. Say, maybe that John Mark guy can look after the kids. He certainly took good care of your hair. <gasps> there you are. Quick, <gasps> take off that scarf this instant. I want to see oh, the magic. Oh, Val! <gasps> 
Jean-Marc did that? Yes, well, when you said he was a genius, you forgot to mention he was an evil genius! The good news is, it certainly detracts from your figure flaws! <laughs> Attention everyone! You really must come over to Liz Larson's cubicle and check out her hair! Dad, I'm hungry. Lunch is served. It's only hair. It'll grow out. Not by this weekend. Just hold your head up high and keep your hat on. Can you babysit this weekend? Oh, gosh, you know, I would do anything for you, Liz, but Kurt and I have been planning to go skiing for months. Oh, it's, it's okay, Suze. I'll, I'll get someone else. There's no way I'm letting Joe go to that beauty pageant alone. Remember, out of all the women he could have married, Joe chose you. What if he's thinking about trading up for someone with less mileage and, and with the same amount of hair on both sides of their head? Dad, I'm thirsty. Your wish is my command, honey. Dad, I'm wet. Gordon and I are off for lunch with Allison and her piano teacher, Bruno. Ugh, such a genius. Glenn Gold genius or Jean Mark genius? Oh, you. Uh -huh. Speaking of Allison, Tracy hasn't had a sleepover with her in ages, so maybe... Great! I'll have the driver drop her off at your house Saturday morning. Uh, that's not what I was asking. I... Oh, I forgot. She's spending the weekend with her birth mother. Too bad. Maybe next week. Well, mm. mustache. Ciao, as Bruno says. Oh. Dad, I dropped the remote. Zelda, you broke your arm, not your whole body. Okay. <laughs> Cal, can I help you? I just came over to uh, scoff at your hair. Hey, say, Cal, if, if you're not doing anything this weekend, could you... Oh, no, 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 I forget. I, I can't do that to the kids. Dad, I need to go to the bathroom. Zelda, there are some things I just can't do for you. Tough day? Oh, man, she wore me out. So you have a sitter lined up, right? Wrong. I can't get anyone we know. And in her condition, I can't leave Zelda with a strange babysitter. Well, there's no babysitter stranger than your mother, honey, and we leave the kids with her all the time. Oh, you know what I mean. Zelda really needs a parent to look after her right now. You're not suggesting I give up judging the contest. Would you, if I asked you to? Do I really have to answer that? No, so long as the answer's yes. Liz, you know I'd cancel in a second if I had to. I know. I also know how much this means to you. Oh, I'll stay home with the kids. You'll have to spend the romantic weekend at the Hotel Excessivo alone. Well, I'm really disappointed. But don't worry, I'll, I'll bring you the pillow chocolates. Tracy's home. Why do you get to hog the remote? Because I'm sick, stupid. Uh-huh. She's home all right. I hate you. You get everything. Girls, stop that. Try not to murder each other or I'll kill you. Go in and separate them while I get dinner. One's authentic Italian pizza. Hi, Gary. It's uh, Liz. Liz, you sound stressed. I just don't know how I'm going to make it through the weekend with the girls at each other's throats and Joe off ogling a bunch of beauty contestants. Why don't you let Tracy go along with Joe to the beauty contest? That way she'll have something to do, and you can focus on Zelda. Oh, thanks, Gary. Don't mention it. Didn't you say that beauty contests were sexist meat racks? I mean, aren't you afraid this is a, a bad influence on Tracy? This once, I'll make an exception. Well, I guess if you insist. I do insist. Nicholas, what? Of course, you could always take Nicholas. I'll take Tracy. By the way, the left side of your mustache, it's uh, shorter than the right now. No problem. That way it'll match your hair. <laughs> Ooh. They should give me danger pay. Bathing suit competition is going to be off the net this year. No more digital post-production touch-ups for those minor figure flaws. The next thing you know, they'll make us perform our talents offline. Hi, I'm Joe. <laughs> I can't learn to lip-sync in front of an audience in six hours. 
I'm a judge. Oh, you are? Well, aren't you just the man we've been looking for all our lives? What'd you say your name was? Yeah, I'm Joe Larson, and this is my daughter, Hi. Tracy. I don't know if I'm supposed to be talking to you, being a judge and all. Oh, never mind about that. This isn't Miss America, you know. They bend the rules for Miss Most Downloadable. <laughs> now we've found you. We're not letting you go. So I'm working on a novel, but uh, I've been thinking it would be better as a, as a screenplay. It's an action-adventure comedy about a regular guy who's, who's really a spy, even though he stays home with the kids. Oh, really? Is there a part in it for me? Kind of a Jennifer Lopez type? Well, <laughs> there is now. I just don't know where you writers get all your ideas. You must have a really big brain. Oh, well, not, not really. Where's Tracy? <laughs> oh, don't worry about her. She's off getting her hair braided by Cindy and Mindy. Well, they're all so talented, I don't know who to vote for. Randy said she thought you were a brilliant writer. Hmm. Well, I gotta go with But Brandy. Shanna said you had a noble profile. You know, Shanna is a strong contender also. And Tisha thought you were hot. Well, Tisha is intelligent and has a, has a beautiful voice. I think voice. Cindy and Mindy should both win. Look what a good job they did on my hair. <laughs> Sorry, girls. I was outvoted. So where's the party? I have to meet some people. Yeah, uh, me too. Maybe sure and send a copy of that script to my agent. Mom, I'm bored. I miss Tracy. Let's try calling Daddy and Tracy at the hotel and see how they're doing. Hello? Oh, 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 it's you. You sound disappointed. Were you expecting someone else? Oh, of course not. No, I just didn't expect you to call, that's all. Are you having fun? Oh, lots of fun, honey. Yeah, the girls are great, and they seemed really impressed that, you know, I was a writer. Tisha sings, Shanna does gymnastics, and Brandy writes poetry. Hmm, yeah. Well, it sounds like you've uh, gotten to know them pretty well. Well, it's all part of being a judge, honey. So, Liz, how was your day? Oh, just peachy. I did five loads of laundry, defrosted the fridge, and vacuumed in between cleaning up after Nicholas and waiting on Zelda hand and foot. Glad I asked. You didn't. Listen, Peter Pan, when you come back from hanging out in Never Never Land with Mandy and Candy and... Brandy. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, maybe then we can talk. For now, I'm getting off the phone. Uh, Liz, don't. I... Mom, was that Dad? Are you guys fighting? Why didn't you let me talk to him? I'm sorry, Zelda. We, we'll, we'll call back. Dad, this is Cindy and Mindy. We came to hang out with Tracy. <laughs> this is so cool. We can order from room service and watch movies, can't we, Dad? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, you seem upset, Mr. Larson. Is there something wrong? It's my wife. She she was supposed to come for the weekend, and, and then she got a bad haircut, and my other daughter broke her arm. Wait a minute. Rewind the tape. Did you say she got a bad haircut? Of course, you were totally sympathetic. You told her you'd love her anyway, even if she was bald. Actually, I, uh, I... I teased her about no. it. No! Well, there's your problem right there. Hair is so important, honestly. For sure. If you teased her, you need to make it up to her big time. But how can I do that? I'm here and she's there. We'll look after Tracy. Well, I, I could be there and back and in... Go, Mr. Larson! Go! Coming! Mom? Where's your father? Who are you? I'm Cindy. I'm Mindy. We're, We're twins. twins. Oh, I'm surprised you can count that high. Now, where is my husband? Hello? No, it's Zelda. Yeah, we're here. You want to speak to Mom? It's Daddy. He's home. Joe? What are you doing at home? What are you doing at the hotel? I felt bad. 
Oh, me too. So when I couldn't get you on the phone, the twins offered to stay with Tracy, and I came home to find you. I have to admit, when I saw them here, I... You were jealous? After 12 years, I never imagined you could be. After 12 years, I thought you might be bored. Well, tired, lazy, and sensitive, maybe, but bored? Never. And then when I got that haircut and you wouldn't stop ragging me, I... Honey, I'm sorry. You know how I feel about you. I need to hear you say it. I love you, honey. Through thick and thin. And that goes for your hair, too. Joe. Okay, I promise no more jokes. So, now what? How about a romantic getaway weekend at the Hotel Excessivo? For the whole family? Why not? That's who we are. A whole family. <sighs> Call room service for pizza. You know, I could get used to this. Do you think they'll ask you back next year? Don't count on it. I make a lousy judge. I thought they should all win. That's what I like about you, your total lack of discrimination. Hey, I can discriminate where it counts. How? I married you, didn't I? You had other options? Sure, I could have asked you to marry me, or I could hate myself for the rest of my life for not asking you to marry me. Smooth. Very smooth. Don't tell anyone, but Cindy and Mindy invited me to their room later to meet their twin schnauzers.